Are you a STAR student interested in applying for the QuestBridge Prep Scholars Program? If so, make sure your essay covers three strategic themes. Stay tuned for more. For the best college essay advice, subscribe and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. The QuestBridge Prep Scholars Program covers tuition and supplies for high-performing students of low economic background. Deadline is March 20th, so approaching fast. Are you ready? The essay can make or break your candidacy, and by the end of this video, I will show you the three strategic themes you should cover to secure a competitive edge. Hi, I'm Dr. Josie with Write Your Acceptance. With hundreds of students already in college or graduates by now, I know how to make them remember you. So stay memorable. Now it's your turn. Before we get started with the three key themes you should have in your essay, no matter what topic, here are some guiding questions that should inform the type of information and content that they are looking for. So here they go. Do you bear significant amount of responsibility in your household, caring for siblings, preparing family meals? Do you have a part-time job to pay for school or household expenses? Do you live with people other than your immediate family or have been in foster care in the past? Is English not your first language? Has a parent passed away or is not present in your life? Have you ever been homeless? Do you commute a long distance to attend a better school? And has your family or community not really been supportive of your educational goals at any time? Let these questions be a guiding parameter, whether or not you have kind of endured such obstacles and challenges. But make sure that how you do address this prompt, it is through an economic lens. So how can you speak to economic class struggles uh, that you have had and endured and kind of thrived beyond? So you wanna think about the three S's, self, sacrifice, and smarts. Theme one to cover, self, your character, personality. Think about memories or anecdotes that you can capture, that you can show an example of perseverance, resilience, a positive outlook. So make sure that no matter the setbacks that you talk about, that you can show this kind of resilient attitude, that you're not whining, but that you are showing how you've overcome and how you continue to overcome challenges. Theme two, sacrifice which involves how you serve your community, however you define this. So whether it's family or broader community or school, how do you bring ease and enrichment to other people's lives? So who you are to others, right? Do you have a part-time job? Are you a translator for your parents or grandparents who don't speak English, let's say? How do you serve others to enrich their lives? So make sure that if you pick a theme like resilience or perseverance or a positive outlook, no matter the challenge in the self, right on uh, theme one, then you carry that out, you show an aspect of that in when you're talking about community and who you are to others. Are you stuck on brainstorming and don't know where to go from here? Comment below, I'd love to help. The third theme is smarts. So how have your dimensions of self and sacrifice inspired a new academic interest or an intellectual curiosity. So have you founded a student club that wasn't there before in your school based on an obstacle or challenge that you've endured? Or have your an identity marker or an economic disadvantage inspired a research project that you've delved into that has deepened your intellectual curiosity? Think about how have your roles as an individual and within a broader community inspired your academic career in some way. So whether you're writing your essay through the QuestBridge Prep Scholars Program or you're going to wait for early and regular deadlines, make sure you vet your topic and that you have a balance between creative and critical elements. I have a free college essay download on my website, writeyouracceptance.com. And if you wanna get off the chock full of information kind of hamster wheel that is YouTube, I love YouTube, but if you wanna get off and join my community, I have content and community waiting for you you receive personalized feedback from yours truly. So check us out, writeyouracceptance.com. And if you like this video and you found it helpful, please give us a like and please comment below helpful. See you soon, thank you so much.